I had a pretty good weekend too. Uh, Steve and I went over to Antwerp and rented a canoe and we paddled down to Clearwater. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that it was pretty, sounds, it was oh, real sounds nice. like yeah. fun. Yeah. It uh, gave us a chance to get outside and uh, gave me a chance to do some uh, uh, heavy thinking. I, I, I yeah, really, really? Mean, yeah. I uh, having some problems with trying to figure out if I want to stay in the business school or, or not. Mm -hmm. Here I am, a sophomore, and, yeah. and uh, I don't know if I want to stay there or go into a liberal arts degree. Mm -hmm. I'm just really frustrated. Well, at least you have some kind of an idea of what you want to do, though. I just started last quarter, and I really uh, don't have any direction that I'm going into at all. You know, I don't, I don't even know how you go about deciding what you want to do, do for a major or anything along that field. Well, what happened to me is that I had to make a decision because I was going to too many classes and, and I was spending too much money and I, I went home and my folks said, you know, you gotta come, you gotta make a decision. So I made a decision and I chose history. Now I don't know if I want to teach history or what I want to do with it. Geez, you know, it's really hard to decide. Well, it's an awfully big decision trying to Make especially sure you're going to go yeah, find something. Especially that, when you're pressured like that. Yeah. You, know, you just feel like you have to make the decision and you have to do it now. And your whole life can depend upon yeah. just this that's decision. That's really true. Well, and you're spending so much money. Well, that's the whole thing. It costs so much to go to school. Yeah. Well, I wonder if there's some place on campus that we can go and talk to somebody. Yeah, you think there's that, somebody on here? Uh, I really don't know. Find out Neither about the I. job situation and then whatever else you need to make up a decision like that, you know. Well, it's about time to go to class. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we should take off. The process of deciding on a college major is seldom an easy one because it involves the assessment of so many different factors. You ask yourself, what is this or that major all about? Will I enjoy studying that subject? Where are my abilities the greatest? What kinds of careers will this or that major lead to? And what kind of careers am I interested in pursuing? When you try to consider all these and many other factors, the result may be a period of indecision which makes some people quite uncomfortable. You may get the impression that everybody at the university except you has decided what his or her major will be and what career to follow. My experience is that most students have periods of indecision about these matters and that the student who today may think he or she knows exactly what the future will be, may be the one who changes plans in the next quarter. So being undecided in and of itself should not be a cause for anxiety. This is not to suggest that indecision should be unduly prolonged. There are some academic programs with such a long list of specific requirements that it's best to get started on them as soon as possible. And then again, there is some evidence that until some students make up their minds about their major or their goal, they will not do their best work. By and large, however, most students can well afford to take several quarters to make their final decisions. And at a university the size of St. Cloud, you will find a wide variety of programs from which to choose. There are more than 50 majors available here and many of these have special programs and emphases within them which further enlarge your opportunities. A student can choose these majors with a high degree of confidence that they have been well planned and that the quality of instruction will be very good. He or she will also find that the diversity of courses within each major program is considerable. One of our goals at St. Cloud has been to offer only those programs which we feel we can do well. Most of these major programs are offered by academic departments, 
although a growing number are interdisciplinary in their requirements. The departments, in turn, are organized into five undergraduate colleges, each headed by a dean. And during the remainder of this tape, each of the deans, in turn, will discuss some of the programs available for students who are undecided about their field of study. One final word. The best way to learn about the nature of any particular subject is to take a course in it. St. Cloud's general education program is specifically designed to enable students to take courses in a wide variety of areas which should help you in making a decision about your major. When one examines the programs and activities within the College of Industry at St. Cloud State University, it is difficult to pinpoint any one unique area. Perhaps the most unique and satisfying circumstance is the excellent job placement and job potential that there is for the graduates. Administratively, the College of Industry is divided into three main units. We have a Department of Engineering and Technology, which has a major in industrial engineering and which offers a number of programs in engineering technology, such as photographic engineering technology, electronics engineering technology, and mechanical engineering technology, as well as an area of concentration in aeronautics. Both two- and four-year programs are available. Graduates from these programs are qualified to accept many different positions in industry, with the choice of occupation pretty much determined by individual interests. Typical positions are in research and development, production control, quality control, plant safety, engineering sales, and many other positions in middle management and management. For example, a number of graduates have become plant managers within five years after graduation. The engineering and technology department has gained international recognition for the excellence of its programs, and it has students coming to St. Cloud State from as far away as Japan. A second unit within the College of Industry is the Department of Industrial Education. This department specializes in graduating persons for teaching positions in industrial arts and in vocational education. An interesting and pleasing circumstance exists for graduates of these programs. The fact uh, that there is a national shortage of these teachers. The supply has not caught up with the demand since the early 1950s. Another interesting phenomenon is occurring. There is a growing number of women who are taking the majors. This was once thought of as a men's only profession, but the United States has awakened to the fact that girls should be and are becoming involved in industrial education, and there should be women as well as men to teach them. Uh, placement potential is really excellent. This is also true, of course, of the technology area I spoke about before. Only five years ago, it was rare to find a female majoring in one of the programs. Today, it is a very common occurrence, and women are doing an excellent job in all of the areas. We have already graduated several women who have secured excellent positions, and we have many more women in all of the programs. The third unit in the College of Industry is the Center for Driver Education and Safety. This unit provides a minor which permits graduates to teach driver education in high schools in Minnesota. When the minor is taken along with a teaching major, it provides an excellent combination which considerably 
expands employment possibilities. The Center for Driver Education and Safety has a 40-acre driving range, which is one of the very finest in the United States, and the only one of its kind in the Midwest. Persons trained at this facility include highway patrol officers, uh, law enforcement personnel from municipalities throughout Minnesota, ambulance drivers, fire department personnel, truck drivers, driver education teachers, motorcycle operators, and many others. The staff for all units within the College of Industry have been recruited from all parts of the United States and have been selected for their expertise in their areas of responsibility. The College of Industry has the finest personnel available anywhere and the quality of the programs and graduating students attest to the outstanding people who have worked with them. We take justifiable pride in believing that the College of Industry at St. Cloud State University has staff, students, facilities, and programs which are second to none in the United States. We believe our track record bears us out, and we encourage you to investigate the offerings of the College of Industry. While the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences contains many programs and majors leading to specific careers, it is our overall purpose that the education prepares students for living fully, richly, and humanely. Our programs can be divided into the humanities, social and behavioral sciences, the natural sciences, and mathematics. Teaching careers remain possible in all of these areas but we have seen a significant growth in programs leading to careers in industry, government, business, the health professions, and community and human services. At present, a great number of our departments sponsor internship programs which do give students early and significant career and learning experiences. As the internship programs have developed, Traditional academic disciplines have discovered much more about how the skills they offer students can be applied in careers. The English department, for example, offers internships in areas ranging from retail sales to public service organizations and from public relations to libraries. Other academic departments have developed fascinating internships in government, industry, the media, public service, health care, law enforcement, to name but a few. The career potential for internships, which allow an employer to both observe a student and participate in his or her training, is very significant. The interdisciplinary nature of many liberal arts and science programs helps prepare students for the working world as it is and will be rather than for one single job. Since most of us will be changing jobs, comprehensive training in several related fields should make those adjustments easier and reduce the amount of retraining necessary. Students can also prepare themselves for the increasingly international flavor of the career world through study at a number of university centers in Europe and through coursework in foreign languages. Liberal arts and science programs geared to specific careers are numerous and they share the education for life slant of the more traditional academic programs. I shall name a few. Allied Health, Mass Communications, Geography Cartography, Social Work, Computer Science, Public Administration, Criminal Justice Studies, Chemistry, Physics, Biology. The Allied Health programs in medical technology and nuclear medical technology combine university study and extensive internship experiences in health care facilities and lead directly to careers in health care. Physical therapy, another allied health program, requires three years of pre-professional coursework at St. Cloud State University 
and a 15 to 22 month course of study at an accredited school of physical therapy. The Department of Mass Communications offers numerous career-oriented programs in such fields as journalism, photojournalism, advertising, public relations, cinematography, television, radio, and others. Programs in geography provide students with applied skills in cartography, aerial photo interpretation, field observation, and quantitative works. Social work, computer science, chemistry, biology, physics, all lead directly into careers in those prospective fields. While criminal justice studies combines a broad educational background with professionally oriented courses for students going into one of the criminal justice subfields or the general field of administration of justice. The Department of Political Science offers a public administration major leading to careers in the public sector in such areas as public utilities, advertising agencies, transportation companies, and research organizations. In a college of 17 departments, a center, and the many departmental programs, it is impossible in such a short period of time to list all the career possibilities for the inventive student. It is our hope that whatever the career, the student will be educated with something special, that they will have an education that provides them for living life fully with their human uh, potential well developed. We invite you to explore further the career opportunities in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Education for business is one of the fastest growing areas of study at St. Cloud State University as a result of increasing student interest, quality programs, and excellent employment opportunities. College of Business graduates are actively recruited by national, regional, and local firms and organizations. The College of Business is accredited at the baccalaureate degree level by the American Assembly of Collegiate Schools of Business, which is the national accrediting body for business schools. St. Cloud State University is one of two institutions in the state of Minnesota that has achieved the qualitative and quantitative standards of accreditation. The College of Business prepares students for professional careers in business, industry, education, and government. The college's five departments, accounting, business education and office administration, management and finance, marketing and general business, and quantitative methods and information systems offer major programs in business teacher education, finance, general business, insurance and real estate, management, marketing, private industrial accounting, public accounting, quantitative methods and information systems, office administration, secretarial science. In some majors, additional concentrations are also available. A number of outreach programs are available to business majors which enhance their academic preparation. The College of Business Internship Program, which provides senior students the opportunity to work in a carefully planned and supervised program as a full-time employee of a cooperating business firm for a quarter does much to provide the student with practical experience. The Small Business Institute program that provides the student working with a team of students, faculty, and businessmen the opportunity to consult business firms also provides real-life experiences. Business leaders frequently participate in classroom discussions and a variety of student organizations provide an important dimension of the program. The quality of any program 
may be judged based upon the students involved in the program, the academic qualifications and experience of the faculty, the relevancy of the curriculum, the placement record of the graduates, and the reputation of the college. You will find these vital elements present when you major in business at St. Cloud State University. St. Cloud State University is fortunate in having one of the best fine arts programs in the upper Midwest. An excellent staff of artist teachers together with spacious modern physical facilities provide an excellent environment for students to discover and develop their talents in the visual arts, theater, and music. A recent renovation transformed a former library into one of the most complete and spacious art facilities in the state. Overlooking the Mississippi River, the building has some 60,000 square feet designed and equipped for teaching, learning, versatility. The Bachelor of Fine Arts degree provides for study in depth within a specific studio area of the visual arts. Students may major in sculpture, painting, printmaking, ceramics, fibers, jewelry and silversmithing, glassworking or photography. A Bachelor of Science degree is available for students who desire to teach kindergarten through high school levels. A Bachelor of Arts degree also is provided through the Department of Art. The Department of Art offers a Master of Arts in Studio degree with majors in ceramics, fibers, glassworking, jewelry and silversmithing, painting, photography, printmaking and sculpture as well as a Master of Science in Education degree. Graduates of the Department of Art have used their degrees to enter teaching, advertising, design, and photography fields. They also have directed activities in museums and galleries or worked as freelance artists. The bachelor's degree also prepares students to enter graduate schools where they become qualified to teach art in colleges and universities. The theater department seeks to prepare students to teach or practice the art of theater with a comprehensive background that connects academic theory with practical applications in theatrical production. An extensive season of plays and musicals allows students to not only participate in every aspect of major productions, but also direct many laboratory scenes and plays throughout the year. Located in the Performing Arts Center, the theater physical plant includes a 450-seat theater with variable seating and a 125-seat laboratory theater with total staging and seating flexibility. Comprehensive Bachelor of Arts degrees are available for students interested in pursuing graduate work in theater or who desire a pre-professional training program. The department offers more than 40 courses in all areas of theater. Internships are available for selected students who may spend one quarter with the Guthrie Theater, the Children's Theater Company of Minneapolis, or Theater Lamadou. They will receive college credit in addition to a unique professional experience. Bachelor of Science theater graduates from St. Cloud are teaching and directing theater programs throughout the state as well as in other parts of the country. Bachelor of Arts majors have found employment in films, television, professional and community theater, public relation work, and industrial theater. St. Cloud State University is one of the few institutions of higher education in the upper Midwest to operate a professional summer theater at Alexandria, Minnesota. Theater Le Hamadou provides St. Cloud theater students the opportunity to work with a professional acting company while receiving credit. Full or partial tuition scholarships are available. 
The Department of Music offers a wide choice of vocal and instrumental performance opportunities for its students, while making available extensive collections of records, books, musical scores, and audiovisual equipment. The department is accredited by the National Association of Schools of Music in preparing teachers of music, musical performers, composers, and music researchers. In addition to its commitment to music specialists, the department aims to foster an awareness and appreciation of music in students from a wide variety of study areas at the university. Housed in the Performing Arts Center, the Department of Music is equipped with a comprehensive facility. The Bachelor of Arts and Science programs are intended for music majors, allowing students to select an emphasis in vocal or instrumental music or a combination of the two. The Bachelor of Music program is structured to prepare students for an emphasis in performance, including courses in applied music, literature, theory, pedagogy, conducting, and performance. Graduates of music programs have a wide choice of careers as musical performers, composers, conductors, or arrangers, or in such areas as television, film, radio, recording arts, or theater. A new interdisciplinary Bachelor of Science degree in Arts Administration provides specialized professional education of prospective administrators of opera companies, dance companies, orchestras, theaters, museums, galleries, arts associations, councils and commissions, municipal and states arts programs, and other arts programs, events, organizations, and businesses, also in specialized arts administration areas. In the College of Fine Arts, we believe we have an obligation to students after graduation to help them get started in a satisfying career. In cooperation with the Center for Career Planning and Placement, the college maintains current listings of a wide variety of position openings throughout the United States in art, music, and theater, in business and industry, as well as in the various art fields and in education. St. Cloud State University's College of Fine Arts stands ready to assist any qualified students to attain a career in the areas of fine arts. We welcome your further investigation of our programs. The College of Education has a long and rich tradition as a part of St. Cloud State University. Recently, in response to the rapid and significant changes in society in general, and in American education in particular, the organization of the College of Education has been modified. The present organization of the college includes the Department of Teacher Development, the Department of Health, Physical Education and Recreation, the Department of Psychology, the Department of Special Education, the Center for Educational Change, the Center for Library and Audiovisual Education, the Center for Educational Administration and Leadership, and the Campus Laboratory School Center. In addition, the college offers the following services, a curriculum materials laboratory, a professional field experiences in education, a research and evaluation service, and athletics programs. <clears throat> Thus, quite a number and variety of programs and services comprise the College of Education at St. Cloud State University today. Among numerous programs available to St. Cloud State University students is a program in early childhood and family studies. This program provides students with preparation for holding professional positions in a number of schools and other community agencies that offer programs and services for young children and their families, including such agencies as daycare centers and other child care programs. The program offers the St. Cloud State University student not only the opportunity <clears throat> to develop a strong base of information and theory relative to the development of the young child, 
but also a rich variety of field settings in which the student can gain practical experience in working with young children and their families. Successful completion of the program in early childhood and family studies results in state licensure for the student. This program is also available on a graduate study basis. Another interesting and somewhat experimental program in the College of Education has the acronym TEAM, representing Teacher Education Alternative Model. Most frequently, students enter this program during their junior year at St. Cloud State. This program is aimed at preparing teachers for elementary or secondary schools, offering students an alternative to other St. Cloud State University teacher education programs. In the team program, students participate in setting professional goals and in designing some of their learning experiences. Again, early and extensive field experiences are a central theme of the program, and team students are encouraged to develop and test their own educational beliefs, to develop personal teaching philosophies as part of the program experience. The Campus Laboratory School part of the College of Education is the scene of considerable activity at St. Cloud State University. One of the few campus lab schools in Minnesota, our lab school enrolls approximately 275 young people from kindergarten through grade six. Operating from a generally humanistic view, the lab school director and faculty not only participate actively with the young people who go to school there, but also assist in the planning and implementation of a great variety of experiences for St. Cloud State University students who are preparing to become teachers or who are students of psychology or students involved in developing special strengths in such areas as the teaching of reading. Faculty of the campus lab school also serve as consultants, advisors, and in general as resource people to students in education. For example, campus lab school faculty make numerous presentations to students in education courses during any given school year. <clears throat> Thus, the campus lab school serves as a vital link between theory and practice, knowledge and application in teacher education at St. Cloud State University. It is a place where one can observe the development and practice of new ideas in education. The Campus Lab School at St. Cloud State is an exciting part of the College of Education and you're invited to visit. A rapidly growing field of study offered by the College of Education is recreation. Through the Department of Health, Physical Education and Recreation, students can earn a major in recreation. This program gives students the opportunity to learn specific skills such as those involved in helping others learn to enjoy the out of doors through camping. The recreation major, one of many programs offered in the department, has many dimensions. Students who contemplate this field of study should realize that graduates from this program frequently move into such employment as directing municipal recreation programs, managing private sports facilities, directing recreation programs for camps, hotels, industrial firms, hospitals, among many other possibilities. The Department of Psychology, one of the largest on the St. Cloud State campus, also offers a variety of programs. The student may take a major in psychology, gaining a sound background in this field of study. In addition to the general foundation in psychology, options for emphasis within the major are available, including an emphasis called human services. This emphasis provides the student an opportunity to seek employment in a number of agencies <clears throat> and organizations which provide direct services to people with varying needs. The Department of Psychology also maintains an excellent laboratory where students may design and carry out their own experiments, thus learning valuable research skills. The programs available on psychology prepare the student for employment upon graduation or for continued study in graduate schools. The Kate program is a special program for preparing secondary school teachers. This program, Cooperative Approach to Teacher Education, provide St. Cloud State University students who wish to become high school teachers 
the chance to visit, observe, and participate in several public school settings. These experiences provide useful information to the student regarding such questions as, why do I want to teach? In what kind of setting do I want to teach? What can I learn about myself as a prospective teacher? The CAPE program, then, is a rich developmental experience in teacher education, one that prepares students very well for student teaching and for entering the teaching profession as a well-qualified, licensed teacher. The programs mentioned here are but a sampling of what is available in the College of Education. Many other opportunities exist, too, including such programs as special education, library and audiovisual education, physical education, coaching, human relations, as well as a number of graduate programs. I believe these programs are of high quality. All are accredited by national and state organizations. St. Cloud State University students who enter College of Education programs with high interest and dedication will find a competent and interested faculty, excellent facilities and resources factors which combine to make the graduate well suited for entry into a variety of professional settings as well as for further study. There probably has never been a more exciting and challenging time to enter the field of education.